feel like the little heart that is left right now if somebody comes and break it again i will just i will just be gone maybe i'll never have a heart again in my body <laughs> i feel like i will just be i'll just be left with my body and my soul and my mind i have just small little heart that is left right there hey beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new here hi <laughs> it's muke here since the day i mentioned the fact that my name is muke you guys just fell in love with the name but anyway this is Macy Dari. i am a cameroon based youtuber so just in case you are new here for the first time hi today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my biggest mistakes in my 20s okay so if this video is of interest to you definitely keep watching today i'm going to be sharing you guys my biggest mistakes as i earlier said so it's not like i regret it but somehow i regret not doing them or doing these things we are humans okay and we make mistakes sometimes it's out of ignorance and sometimes it's just neglect somehow but yeah so the first thing i'm going to share with you guys is the fact that in my 20s i never applied sunscreen <laughs> I just say I had no idea about sunscreens okay I think well, that was when I traveled to Germany in 2016 that I realized or I was introduced to this whole thing of sunscreen because at some point in our stay there we bunch we we in fact summer caught us there okay so we were advised to buy sunscreen I was like what is sunscreen which one is sunscreen again I know that our weather here in Cameroon especially in Douala is super hot but my dear I had no idea about sunscreen and sun will burn me a eh? oh god with the lotion I was using at that time I was using on my body sun will burn me I'm like what is going on here why is my body like coca-cola fanta you know there's a part of my body that will be shining another part that will be dark i'm like what is going on if you go and tell a 20 year old girl that hello girl we're in the dry season right now it's good to apply sunscreen she'll be like what sunscreen <laughs> i think i started uh, applying sunscreen on my body at the age of 28 29 years old before i started applying sunscreen and i had knowledge about sunscreen that is good for the body it prevents us it, it prevents sunburn so right now I am conscious of the fact that during the dry season sunscreen comes in very very handy especially here in Douala you can see that Douala is one of the hottest uh, regions in Cameroon so you want to be very conscious of the fact that you need sunscreen on your body to prevent sunburn anti-aging and all that good stuff okay so yeah so the second thing I didn't care about in my 20s is skin care you guys i had no idea about skin care i know that you get up in the morning you take your bath you brush your teeth you apply your cream on your body you wear your dress and off you go but there's something about skin skin care is very very important it prevents your skin from anti-aging uh hyperpigmentation pimples guys then in my 20s i know that okay if i have pimples on my face i'll just allow it i will do and it will go on its own that is what i knew and you have to identify the right products that work for you okay because this work for a doesn't mean that this is also going to work for b so you have to be very very careful in applying skincare skincare is very very essential in every woman every man every human being on earth right you have to be very very careful that you don't use very harsh products on your skin i prefer very natural products like just by using sugar lemon and honey just to clean your face exfoliate your face you need to look for a skin toner you also need to look for a moisturizer that goes with your skin type okay these are very very essential things and mind of the fact that some of these skincare products you can find them in your kitchen which are very very affordable and very very natural social media as well has opened my eyes <laughs> has opened my eyes to civilization and new things and i am so happy that now i have a knowledge about 
skincare and now i can take care of my skin i can prevent myself from having pimples hyperpigmentation blemishes dark spots okay i can prevent myself from that by using just very very simple affordable products on my skin so if you have started wearing makeup you know sometimes makeup as well also falls your skin so you always want to like uh, take care of your skin especially when you buy like fake product it's not like you intentionally want to buy fake products but there are times where you know some of these sellers they just want to sell just have money and not even regarding what how that product is going to react on their customers face or their skin so you want to be very very careful when you buy your makeup if you have started applying makeup on your face that is where skincare really really comes in handy that you have to take care of your skin so if you are in your 20s please consider skincare okay now my next biggest mistake in my 20s is falling in love <laughs> all right yeah every girl has to fall in love to get the experience to have the heartbreaks you guys i cannot count how many heartbreaks i had in my 20s i feel like i shouldn't have engaged myself into a relationship in my 20s but you know life has the way it plays on us every day we need these experiences to you know better our life maybe in our 30s right now so i feel like i shouldn't have done that in my 20s i should have waited a little bit older because i started dating at the age of 20 like officially dating at the age of 20 um which i've had a lot of heartbreaks you guys i feel like the little heart that is left right now if somebody comes and break it again i will just i will just be gone maybe i'll never have a heart again in my body <laughs> i feel like i will just be i'll just be left with my body and my soul and my mind I have just small little heart that is left right there. So the last biggest mistakes in my 20s is the fact that guys, I never like I never saved money. Never. Mm -mm. So growing up as a young teenager or in my 20s, my parents put us on monthly allowance, not or even weekly allowance. So I had no idea about banking, like even saving. I had a small bank which I usually save like coins, but it was not something I was taking too seriously. I did not save any money. As soon as money comes in into my account, in my phone, then we had mobile money or my parents would just send us money through Express Union or those money trans transfers uh, agencies or medium okay i will just go to the market and just get me some very nice gown or shoes or handbag then i never started wearing makeup i was not saving you guys and that is something i regret so much i look at young teenagers in america or in other parts of the countries and they are billionaires today because they saved and invested their money into something that right now they are proud to say that they they save their money to start up a business where am i right now i did not save any money all my head was my parents will send my daily my weekly allowance or monthly allowance i will go and just have fun with my friends buy some really nice dresses go to the bakery or go to the snack and just spend money so please if you're in your 20s no matter how small try and open up an account or even just look for a small box where you can always save about 500 1000 francs which is very very important okay there were moments whereby i will fall sick and i cannot even take myself to the hospital like immediate first aid you can imagine it was that bad so i will not advise any girl in her 20s not to save please always save for emergencies you might find yourself in a situation whereby you are in your house with your junior ones and they fall sick and they need you as an elder sister to do something really really fast and your parents will be so proud of you that you were able to save money to save the life of your junior ones considering the situation where they find themselves so it's very very important to save that way you may, you are going to surprise your parents there may be a day in the house where your daily or your monthly allowance doesn't come on time and you have junior ones at home who do you think is going to feed them? It's you because you need to act like the big sister or big brother. Shall we get? That is when you will go back to your savings in the house and you'll be like, okay, I have this amount of money which can prepare a pot of rice or jello fries or whatever in the house. 
and you'll be proud to say that okay i was able to save that situation by providing food for my junior ones at home or maybe paying the electricity bill or you know just bill any bill of any kind so your parents will be so proud of you so i'm just saying that it's very very important to save no matter how small guys saving brings joy automatic joy the fact that you can think that okay you have some money somewhere so guys uh yeah that brings us to the end of this video if you find it interesting and helpful please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe okay thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you bye